Hello everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to draw a maze to challenge your family. So what you need is a pencil. You don't have to use mechanical pencil, you can just use pencil. Uh, eraser and a ruler. Um, since Miss Zhao don't have a ruler in her house, so she is just going to use anything that has a straight edge. Um, so let's get started. So on a white piece of paper, I'm going to draw a square as the border of the maze. So square is something that has four sides and each four sides has the same length just going to estimate the length here okay so and then after you drew the square you are going to make an entry and an exit for the maze so here is what you want people to enter and here is what where you want them to exit now inside this square I drew, I'm going to draw another square. Probably the distance between these two squares is like one centimeter or half inch, about half inch. Make sure I'm drawing straight lines. So, I drew another square inside the square that I drew previously. Now I'm going to randomly erase some part of the line to make pass for the maze. Doesn't have to be exactly the same as mine, just make some holes for the entry. And then I'm going to draw another square inside. Okay, and again, I'm going to erase some part in this as well. You don't have uh, you don't have to make four holes. You can make three or two, whatever you want. And inside this, I'm going to draw some shapes, like a rectangle here. I'm gonna fill this. I'm gonna fill this with shapes. And erase some part to make path and then I'm going to draw maybe two squares in here fill this space with two squares it's more like a rectangle all right so then I'm going to erase some part of this to make some path for the maze. And again, inside this, I'm going to draw two squares. Just fill this with shapes. And I'm going to erase some parts to make paths. Again, this, just drawing small shapes. Okay, so now that I have my maze made, I'm going to um, highlight the part that I want people to go. So the correct answer for the maze. So I want them to go like this, very lightly. I use my pencil very lightly because I want to erase my correct answer later. And I want them to go through as many parts as possible, probably, but yours doesn't have to be the same as mine. Okay, so this will be my correct answer. So now, um, I'm going to put blocks on other paths 
So when they try other path, they cannot go through. So for example, if they go through here, they will be blocked by this. If they go through here, they will be blocked by this. If they go through here, they will be blocked by this. If they go through this way, they will be blocked here. So eventually they will be blocked any other way they go so that they can't reach my exit unless they go the way that I want them to. Okay, let's see if they go this way. So you have to imagine every possibility that people might go through except um, and block all the other possibilities except for the one that you designed. So this actually exercises your brain a lot. To use your brain a lot to be able to do this. Uh, so I'm just creating many blocks for people that's trying other path. And here I found that if they go through here they can also exit so I'm going to create a block right here. If your, path, if your maze has two answers that means you might have forgotten to block somewhere. But it's always fun to try and challenge your family member with different ways. Um, and they might come up with answers that surprise you as well, which is kind of the fun of this. Also, don't forget to erase your answer before you challenge your family. So this is why you have to draw your answer very lightly so that you can erase it easily. Or if you have a marker pen at home, you can also trace your maze border lines with a marker pen so that when you erase your answer, it's easier and also they can try this maze over and over again if you trace the lines with markers.